שלום אבריבדי ולכם לרגע בעברית. We have reached the conclusion of the book of Bereshit or Genesis this week, פרשת ויחי. And today in conclusion I would like to speak to you at the greatness of Joseph. We also know that Joseph is a picture of the Messiah. Therefore, when we look at the life of Joseph, it is important for us to see the parallel for the Messiah who is returning soon. And here, of course, we are in the conclusion of this story, and the Hebrew revealed to us a very important clue, hint about Joseph that I would like to take you. We have what is called here in Hebrew, Mila Stuma. What is the meaning behind Mila Stuma? It's a word or an expression that does not have a meaning. The meaning, the, the lettering is perhaps ambiguous. And at times it's happened in the Hebrew language where we don't necessarily understand a word. And here in the conclusion in Hebrew, Genesis chapter 50 verse 15 we have this type of a word but if we look a little bit deeper I think we can uh, perhaps uh, put our detective head on and learn something very important about this it says in the text vayu achei yosef ki met aviam vayomru lu istamenu yosef והשב ישיב לנו את כל הרעה אשר גם לנו אותו. Wait a second. Joseph has already reconciled with his brothers. Why would the brothers, after the death of Jacob, would make such a statement? And the statement is very simple. Now that our father has died, Joseph is going to really reveal his true colors and he is uh, going to give us uh, the punishment for all the wickedness that we have done. Now, the interesting thing about this is that Joseph does the exact opposite. And he says to them uh, later on in verse uh, 19, Al Tiru. Do not be fearful. Come closer. This word in Hebrew, yara, from the word re'e, to see, mean to come toward me. Joseph tells them that they are not to have a fear, but rather to come closer to him. Do not have any sort of fear. You have thought about me evil, but I thought about you goodness. Now, we need to look at this passage today. and understand the greatness of Joseph. What was going on is very interesting. And the Midrash is giving us the answer. As they went forward to bury Jacob, their father, on the return, guess what Joseph ran into? He ran into the pit. The same time. Pit, the Midrash tell us, that the brothers have threw him inside. So as he buried his father and he is walking backwards, he ran to the pit where the brothers threw him in. What, Je- what Joseph does, according to the Midrash, he's going to the pit and he says, Thank you, God. that you have allowed me to be thrown into this pit in order to provide salvation to my own brothers. This, friends, is a model for each and every one of us. This word here in the Hebrew is a unique word. It is the word histamenu. The word histamenu has no meaning. It's a close word but it's actually mean to have a hidden hatred that is the meaning of this word is to have a hatred 
that one can hide. All those years, they think that Joseph is walking with a hidden hatred toward them. And that's why they use the word law in conjunction with Sister Menu, which Rashi comment and he says is the word ulai. Maybe, maybe the hidden hatred will come out now. But it doesn't come out now. The quite the opposite come out. The goodness. This is a lesson for us today, friends. As we are facing difficult situations, difficult calamities, perhaps by others that set for us the pit, what do we do? Do we curse those who threw us into the pit? Or we bless the Lord for allow us to go to the pit and rise from the pit? This, friends, is the question of Vayechi and the question of Regabevri today. God bless you. Thank you.